Oi. Islanders, welcome back to another video. As you can tell, it is absolutely the last calm out there, which means I'm going to send it imminently on the paddleboard. Yes, you've not seen this one before. This is my new paddleboard. I'll tell you why I like it. It's 11 foot long and it's six inches thick and it's sort of 32 inches wide, which is perfect for me because with all the wild camping and that I do, I carry loads of gear quite often. Normally Barry's beers. All right, Barry, what I want to show you guys is this thing out on the water. Also, the reason I also wanted a, a bigger paddleboard was because I plan to take my dogs on it, and kids and other family members. So you can easily fit two people on this. If you're over 70 kilograms, this might be a good option for you. Up to about 160 kilos. I know there's a lot of bigger people getting into the sport and so you should. So the Paddle Co, which is a British based company and I'm all for supporting great British companies two mates from west sussex basically said mate paddle boards are well expensive maybe we should get into this and try and drive the cost down when i started paddle boarding they're about six to seven hundred pound for a paddle board this here which is the 11 foot option is under 400 and they do a smaller version which is under 300. in the bag it comes with a lightweight three-piece aluminium paddle seems good quality to be fair handmade rucksack you can easily deflate stick it in there go for a little hike and then go from there secluded beach for example uh, however my preferred option is to pretty much leave it inflated and then I top it up to about 15 psi every time using the pump that it comes with and I just put it on the roof of my van mate it weighs absolutely nothing effortless to take it off the top of the van I think it's less than like eight kilos uh, you get your safety leash and say three removable fins and a repair kit which includes a valve tightening tool which is pretty useful actually Without further ado, let's send it onto the water, mate. By the way, a lot of people make the mistake of paddling this way, using the paddle like that. It's always that way. This is what it's all about. Look at that, mate. Absolute glass calm. One of the piers you've seen me uh, carry out plenty of adventures off. I have to say, she's pretty damn stable. I'm a bit rusty. First paddle of the year for me. But there you go. If you're a beginner, this might be something to consider. A little bit bigger, a little bit more stability. Certainly when it gets rocky or choppy. Yeah, mate. This is so flat calm, it's unreal. <laughs> I go for a stand up. Let's try it. Oh. Can you take a drone off from a paddle board? That's absolutely <laughs> Low battery warning, better bring it back. <laughs> Lives another day. <laughs> this drone has been through some damage, I tell you. Trees, off the kayak, you name it. Out of all the uh, paddle boarding I did last year, I don't remember conditions being anywhere near as good as they are right now. I should have loaded this thing up and gone for a camp. So this is where I would uh, strap everything to. It's got like this nice diagonal bungee cord, which is quite useful. You can also strap stuff to the back, but I tend to front load. Uh, likewise, if you have two passengers, you can put another one here, just spread your load out, as you can see behind me. Saw a mega video recently of some like a uh, killer whale orca just popping up next to a paddleboard. We have got a resonant pod of orcas around Great Britain. 
They're probably about, I don't know, 60 miles north from here, maybe, or maybe a bit more, a couple of hundred miles north from here, I would say. Uh, but I would love to see them in the wild. Might get a bit of disco leg, but you know, still, can you imagine just right there now, an orca popping up? That would be ridiculous. Just to be transparent, Paddle Co did send me this paddleboard for free. I'm under no obligation to say anything good about it. I will only ever review products, although this is more of a first look, that I would buy myself. Uh, I'm in a, no way will I ever review a product if somebody asks me or tells me what to say. That's never going to happen. This is great. I can't wait to load it up and go on uh, some wild camping escapades in the summer. If you've got any questions, fire them down below. <coughs> yeah. But stay tuned, this thing will be used in loads of uh, paddleboard camping this year. Plan to do a lot more. Really enjoyed the water-based adventures. Obviously, you guys know I've got a boat and this is gonna be my mode of transport from the boat to the shore. There's like a fine haze out there. It's really nice. Quite often get dolphins in this bay. This is Laxey Bay. Down there is Garwick, the area where you've seen me uh, camp before. Don't tend to get sharks this side, to be honest. Uh, maybe about four or five miles out that way, you might get Mako sharks. But the Baskin sharks, which frequent the Isle of Man, May to October, are the other side of the island. This is uh, this is Laxey. This is the east side. So we get amazing sunrises, but the sunsets are that way. In fact, I live just on that hill, so I'm very fortunate. And if you ever find yourself on the water a bit unstable. Just dunk the paddle in. Acts like a bit of an anchor and it will stabilize you. All right, top tips. You might notice I'm not wearing a life jacket. I don't personally advise not wearing one. However, I am just about to go out for a sunset free dive. So I'm very competent in the water anyway, so. But yeah, if you can wear a personal flotation device. When I go wild camping, I always do. There we go guys, hope you enjoyed that little micro adventure. You might notice it's right by my boat. There will be an update video on the boat coming shortly. And the plan is to potentially use this for getting from the boat anchored to shore for boat wild camping missions. There'll be a link below for the paddleboard if you're interested. And I'd like to say thanks again to Elliot from the Paddle Co for sending it to me. I absolutely love it mate, thank you very much. You'll see it in plenty of wild camps. Take it easy, guys. I'm off for a free dive. Goodbye.